evening, Strip Believers, and Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, it's KJ uh, on the Cadre once again. Today, for my Halloween shave, I'm going to use my new jack-o'-lantern brush from Oz Shaving Company. I uh, just got this in yesterday, along with my purple and green brush. Um, this one has a tuxedo knot and this one just has a black synthetic now i did some test lathers with both of these yesterday and uh wash them out and break them in a little bit um this one didn't perform as well as the tuxedo um for some reason didn't uh, whip up the lather as good uh, but we're gonna give it a go anyways um it's a cast resin handle um it's really chunky it's like much bigger in person than I thought it was going to be, but it does feel really good in my hand. Um, it's got some good weight to it, um, so I'm really digging this brush, and it's the perfect brush for Halloween. And, of course, Hallows, last day for my consecutive use of Hallows. Looking forward to uh, getting to some other stuff. I've got a uh, ton of samples from CBL to get through. I've got some samples from the uh, sample library to get through and I just got in nine samples from Oz Shaving Company to get through. So I think all next month uh, I will be using samples. And today's razor is a German travel razor. Um, it doesn't have any markings on it except for it says Germany on the bottom of the base plate. I don't know if you can see it uh, right there. It says Germany. Um, I don't know the age of this. Uh, I think I read somewhere or heard something that uh, these are probably from like the 30s. Sounds about right. Um, and then the... Uh, the handle. Now, you might be thinking, well, what are you supposed to do with that tiny handle? Um, well, let's see. So, first of all, I'm going to put the, uh, the blade inside there. Well, inside the handle, there's a little surprise. It's a two-piece. So, these two screw together and then that screws into the post like a normal handle would so really we're just about the same length as a normal razor all in a handy dandy little compact case um, so it's still got some, some knurling up top, which is about where I would typically grab a razor. Um, it's a little bit light, but the, he the head is relatively heavy, so it's got some weight up here, just the handle's sort of heavy, or sort of light, because it's mostly hollow. Um, so we're gonna use that today. And let's see. What the jack o lantern brush is gonna do. Um, so I got this from Oz Shaving Company. Um, one of the members at TSC posted a soap or an aftershave that they had gotten from Oz Shaving Company and was talking about it. Uh, I know D Dangerous Don was interested in the soaps. Uh, I went to the site, checked it out. I was interested and uh, when I got to the site, I realized that <clears throat> they're local to me. Um, they are in Overland Park, Kansas, which is a subdivision of Kansas City. And they're like an hour and a half away from me. Um, which you might not think that's local, but that's pretty much local because we got to go to Kansas City. I'm, I live out in the boonies. So we gotta go to Kansas City if we want just about anything. And uh, 
driving an hour to an hour and a half to get there is just no big deal at this point. Uh, also, November, tomorrow, November 1st, is going to start Movember, No Shave November, or whatever you want to call it. Um, me and some guys at work are going to do the thing where we grow out the beard, grow out the mustache. So today, I'm not going to shave my mustache area. Give that a little bit of a head start. Um, but then uh, for the rest of the month, I'm probably just going to shave my neck and maybe trim my cheeks a little bit. So. We'll be working through samples, but we're not going to be doing full shaves. Which make my videos a little bit shorter, right? Hey Chris, Noir, maybe you should do that. Maybe that would make your video shorter. Just kidding, man. So this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I was using some mama bears yesterday to, to break these in. And uh, this one just didn't do as well as the tuxedo. I was, I was just hand lathering. Um, so I was a little bit worried that this wasn't going to do a good job, but it's doing just fine. So I was all prepared and had planned on using my Paladin Jack for today, but then this came in yesterday, so had to use it. One thing I always do, um, you know, Chris Gainoir was talking about uh, some of our habits and routines and stuff. One thing I always do is I always uh, rinse my razor first before I start shaving in hot water. Um, I think heating up the blade um, really helps the shave. So that's just something that I always do. So tonight's Halloween, nothing's going to be going on at my house because it's out in the boonies. Um, I'm quite sure there's no kind of trick-or-treating out here. I'm sure any kids here that are going to get driven into one of the nearest subdivisions to trick-or-treat there. Because literally the houses are like a mile apart from each other out here. Which is fine. Um, but normally I'd go out, dress up, go to a bar, find a party, something like that. But today is Wednesday. 
and Wednesday's bingo at the VFW. So I will be there selling cards, calling numbers, helping raise money for veterans. And probably still dressing up a little bit. I think usually the people that come to bingo around Halloween would dress up or something. So being that it's on Halloween, I imagine some of the uh, patrons will be dressed up. Once again this year, I didn't make it out to the haunted houses. There's haunted houses in Kansas City that are some of the best in the country. And I've been wanting to go for years and just never find a spare weekend that I can get up there and go to them. Getting there. A little bit of touch up. So I, I got some, uh, I've been getting donations in for the Kansas City Wet Shave Group. We're having a meetup on November 10th. And I've been getting in lots of donations from vendors, which has been giving me an opportunity to smell some of the products and see what some of the stuff looks like in person. Um, I sampled, uh, I got from Bear Shirt and Man, I got in a Leviathan set. It's the soap, aftershave, and EDT. I gotta say, it was kind of stinky. It's like leather, coffee, and sandalwood which sort of sounds good, but for me, the uh, the coffee just threw it off. I'm not a food scent kind of guy, and chocolate and coffee, just those two scents, I don't think belong anywhere near the shaving soap. I had heard really good things about Leviathan. I know it's really popular, so I was really curious, but that's not for me. up with some witch hazel. And the hallow 
nose after shave. I'm using this for a while. So I used this for about two weeks. And it looks like I maybe used about a quarter of the bottle. So based off of that, a bottle should last about two months of daily use. At least the way I use it. The EDT. I'm giving about five sprays at a time. You can see we're barely touching that. So EDT is going to last a whole lot longer than a bottle of aftershave will. So we got some backup bottles of both. I got one. Uh, one backup tub of the soap so that I can break these out every year around Halloween and have some good hallow shaves because they said they're not making it anymore which is a shame I was I, this was the first time I'd ever bought hallows but I always look forward to seeing it and uh the soap was the same, the scent was the same, but they changed up the labeling every time. Um, and this labeling just got me. I just, I liked the labeling that they, they did this year. And that's what kind of drove me to actually get it this year. And I'm glad I did because I wouldn't have known until I bought it that they weren't making it next year. So um, glad I've gotten in on that. Uh, looking forward to trying out my samples next month. Um, be giving this brush a go next shave. And uh, that's it for me. Happy Halloween, everybody at the Cadre and uh, everybody on YouTube and everywhere else. Uh, I'm Spider, and we'll see you on the forums.